Hey folks, my name is Dave. This here is Honcho, our Folds of Honor Desert Race Truck. Welcome to our shop here at NTD Racing. We're one week away from the Baja 1000. After last year's race, we had a punch list of things we had to fix and we're almost down through all the things. And the last one is tap up, tap down, or sport shifting on our 6L90 transmission, which is mated to our LY6 engine. So today, that's what we're doing. I'm showing you how to add sport shifting onto Honcho. Before we get going, I will humbly ask that you hit the like and subscribe, ring in the bell for notifications for future episodes, or leaving a comment with questions of what you wanna see in future episodes. That definitely helps us out. So here's why I did this video. I bought the low car shifter for our 6L90 transmission about a year ago. And I put it on the truck and it, it works great in just normal shifting mode, but it has a sport shifting feature to it. I asked them, well, how do you hook up the sport shifting? And they're like, there are so many different combinations on how you can do this on different transmissions. We just don't have the direction. So, and I looked out there for how you do this and it was very difficult to find. So this is your one-stop shop on how you make the sport shift work on a 6L90 or a 6L80 transmission. Let's get to it. So what do I mean by one-stop shop? What I mean is you can watch this video, you can look in the description below, and I think you'll have everything you need besides the hardware to make this modification work in your vehicle. So where did I get the information? I had a look all over. The best resource I found was this 6L80E with tap shift no bcm on hp tuners and the folks on here are fantastic if you don't have an hp tuner it's one of those things i totally recommend you spending the dollars on and getting uh, this guy over here v8 this will be some things that i link he has some pictures on how he sets up the stuff on the hp tuner i'll show you that here in a minute somebody else linked uh, down here all of the resistors and connectors that you're going to need if you don't have that pin 7 in and then also if you just need to make the module to make it tap up and tap down and even one of the best things is somebody put together this fantastic tap up uh, tap down 6L80E 6L90E with the uh, T43 TCM and it shows exactly how to do that these are all great resources what I am going to show you is how you make all that work with your low car shifter what you get with that thing how do you make it work how do you make this little resistor module and I'm going to show you how it works in the car and then finally how do you get all the accurate data into HP tuner to squirt it into your ECM or your TCM and make it work on your car. Let's go ahead and take a look at, at the low car shifter. All right, welcome into the passenger or the navigator seat of Honcho, which is our J10, Jeep J10 race truck. And in this truck, we're running a LY6 engine with a 6L90 transmission under here. And you can see we kind of got a mess of wiring going on as we're getting some stuff tidying up inside the, uh, the tunnel. But what we're running to shift the transmission is this low car shifter and it is the automatic uh, electronic sport mode shifter. Super cool shifter and we, the way we've been running it, at least at the Baja 1000, was we were running it just in a normal mode to where it just basically puts the transmission into reversed, neutral, drive or whatever. But what's really unique about this shifter is that it has what's called a sport mode. I can push it over into a sport mode and then now it's either a tap up or a tap down. So let's go ahead and see how it does that and the mechanisms that it uses to do that. Basically it has three switches, which I will just call squat switches. This first one up here on the top, basically what it allows you to do is when you go all the way down into drive, if I zoom in here on the side, you can see that little switch. As I move this thing into sport mode, it releases that squat switch and then it sends a signal to the transmission saying, okay, now you are in sport mode. That's when these other two squat switches on the front and on the back come into play. And now as I pull back on the lever, it's actually going to engage this front squat switch. And if I push forward on the lever, it engages this back squat switch. Let's go ahead and hook this thing up to my multimeter and show you when it's telling me it's open and when it's telling me it's closed. And then we'll figure out from there how we're gonna make a harness to make this thing work. So we have this shifter hooked up to my multimeter just so that we can check when circuits are closed. So first we're gonna use the, this uh, squat switch that basically turns the system on and puts your transmission into sport mode. I have the multimeter hooked up to the red and the black wires. And then now as I pull the shifter over, you can see now that the circuit is closed and now it's gonna send the signal to your transmission to turn on the sport mode in the transmission. Now that the transmission is in sport mode, the squat switches that shift up or shift down are a little bit different. We're hooking up the blue wire and the black wire. And now as I shift it, 
you can see it closes that circuit and will send the, the signal to the transmission, in this case, to shift up. So here is the idle neutral safety switch. And I've done this before where we've been moving the truck around because we, so we pop it out of gear. And then you hop in the truck and you want to start it. With it in this position, if you have it wired correctly, it will not allow you to start the car with the car in a drive position. You'd have to actually get it in a neutral or you have to get it all the way into park and then it would close that circuit. All right, like I always say, I like math. Here's how I get to the circuit I'm making for this 6L90, the tap up, tap down. We're starting with 12 volts of, uh, off the, the car battery. That's gonna be split into uh, basically five, just 12 volt circuits. I gotta make it out to five different switches. The first three switches right here are the switches that are right on the low car switchers uh, circuit. You have the on, tap down, tap up. The on switch is just by putting the shifter into the sport mode. And then the tap up and tap down is by shifting down or shifting up. I'm gonna send another 12 volt circuit out to the steering wheel and then I'm gonna have additional uh, tap down or tap up switches which are gonna go ahead and feed in to the circuit prior to the resistors. Once you get to shifting, so first you're just driving along, 12 volts is going into the transmission. It says I'm just a normal drive transmission. You put in a sport mode, closes the circuit. Now the pin seven in the transmission sees this 8.25 resistance. It says, okay, you're in sport mode, but you haven't shifted me yet. I'll just stay in whatever gear I'm in. And then you say you want to tap down. So you tap it one time. This circuit stays closed, but this circuit closes also. This becomes a parallel circuit. And then the combined resistance ends up becoming 2.88. Here's my quick scribbling math on how you come up with that to get the resistance. The resistance across this parallel circuit is now going to be the sum of the inverse of the the two resistance and you kind of do some math and you get all the way down to 2.88 and if you tap up and then now you cl you open this circuit but you close these two circuits now you're going to get a resistance of one point i think two seven or roughly around in there is what the resistance that you're going to get what's really cool is i can you can close this circuit either at the the shifter or i'm going to put two momentary switches on the steering wheel basically giving you uh, you know, steering shifting uh, out there, you close those circuits and you do the exact same thing, giving you basically paddle shifting, if you will, for about 20 bucks. All right, let's go ahead and prove those concepts we just talked about. Uh, here we go. So we're just driving down the street. Uh, the circuit is totally open. Pin seven in the transmission is getting no voltage. The transmission thinks it's in drive and it just drives like a normal automatic transmission. And then you take your low car shifter, whatever shifter you has, you have to turn it into sport mode and that brings in this 8.25 resistor and now you can see as you connect this thing up now the transmission pin 7 sees 8.25 resistance and it says i am in sport mode and you want to tap the vehicle down you want to do a tap down you bring in this other resistor 4.42 in parallel and then now the transmission sees about you should see about 2.88 if i get this thing on there right about 2.88 and it says, okay, shift up or shift down in that case. Uh, if we wanna shift up, we're we'll bringing this other 1.25 resistor. And all of a sudden now it sends a signal because it's 1.27 K resistance and now it tells it to shift up. So there you go, that's how it works. Let's go ahead and build this circuit and put it in the car and see how it works. All right, I don't like to think of myself as a cheap guy, but I am a value guy. Uh, and so the wires that I'm using here are really small gauge wire, maybe 20 or 22 gauge, something like that. The wires that I pulled out of the harness uh, when I gave my LS engine uh, basically a, a harness diet and pulled a whole bunch of wires out. So I'm using those again. They work just fine. They work forever. So And there's just not a lot of current going through these. Remember, it's just a signal it's sending that reads a different resistance as it goes into pin 7. That's all I'm using. So no need to go out and buy a whole bunch of expensive wires. All right. Well, I just uh, used the old drill to open those holes up a little bit. And you see I got those buttons in there. And now while you're driving, you can go shift up or shift down right on the steering wheel pretty trick okay we got everything wired up and it's starting to look like a nest i'll get that cleaned up once we're done with this test but we're going to test this thing so right now what i have is the circuit is wired in there i got the steering wheel wired up i think it looks pretty trick that's gonna look pretty good um the 
uh, multimeter is set up here. It's reading on one side of the circuit and connected to the other side of the circuit. This is where the pin will go to pin seven on the transmission. No resistance reading right now. Now watch as I switch this thing into uh, sport mode. There you go, 8.2 something. And if I shift down, we're gonna get that 2.8. And if I shift up, we get the 1.27, whatever it's supposed to be. Here's the super trick part. Now, as I hit the buttons on the steering wheel, if I want to shift up and then if I want to shift down, hit this button over here. So now I have shifting on the steering wheel, tap shift over here on the shifter on the low car. Let's go ahead now and get this pin seven into the transmission plug. From here, what I'm doing, there is a little rubber plug inside this cannon plug. So I'm using that piece of welding wire to push that plug out. And once it's out, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reinsert that welding wire in where it says pin seven on the one side. It doesn't say it on the other side that you gotta push it in. So I'm pushing that through the hole. So I make sure that when I flip it over, I see the correct hole that I can put that metal pin that I just uh, put together on the harness, I can put that in there and have it snap into place. Once I've ensured I have a snug fit with that pin in there, now I'm gonna do is reverse the order. I'm gonna put the cannon plug back into the TCM. Now it's time to go to the HP tuner software and make sure we get the right program in there to work the tap up, tap down. All right, here we go with what I think is the valuable part of this video is how do you make the HP tuner part and the computer part of this thing work? And here's what I learned. Uh, in HP Tuner, you're going to have two different programs. You have what's called the VCM editor, and then you also have the scanner. The editor is how you do all of your tuning stuff and how you change the program in your ECM, your TCM. And then the scanner over here is just basically a high-end scanner tool. And this is a free part you've been paying for the editor part to get the credits to, to use on each one of your um, ECMs. Anyway, we'll start over here on the editor. So there's two different things we need to pay attention to, and that is first one's going to be the shift general under the transmission section. You got shift general shift schedule. Shift schedule is easier to talk about right now, so we'll start with that. Right back over here, off of the form we talked about earlier, uh, this guy V8. He first he talks about how he sets up his schedule and realize that they're not always going to look the same based on which kind of vehicle you are using or which which version of the hp tuner but they're all they don't look the same but they're all the same all the same information is here and i basically for the most part plug and play just put the exact same values that they put in there and they worked for me so it, at least as a starting point until you figure out what all these values are you can probably use these to get it working and then you can tune it further from there the second part is the shift general and again i went over to uh his links there and this is how he said to set it up all these parameters so i went into my editor and i basically went to shift general and i put all the exact same parameters in there uh, all the way down until you get to this one right here the range active and i think this is the one that gives people the most problems um, I used D6 and before I was using D4 and the shifter wasn't working. And it's like, so, so what do you use? And how do you know which one to use uh, on, the, on here? Which, what, what button do I push? And here's how you figure it out. Let's go over to the VCM scanner. Let's plug it into Honcho and I will show you how you use that and find out what value, the last value you're going to need to make this whole thing work. How do you find that? Okay, so here is how you get the information off of the scanner. So first thing you do is you're gonna go ahead, plug your car in with the HP tuner, and then go ahead and hit connect. Once you connect it, you go down over here. This whole thing shows you all these parameters, but you can bring up more. You go to this little gear symbol down here, and then it brings up all these things over here. You go to TCM, click on transmission, and then it's gonna bring up all these options right here. For shift properties, go ahead and hit sh uh, transmission shift mode and bring that up. And that's gonna put transmission shift mode over here. And then gear selection, select 
this uh, park reverse neutral drive low gear status and that's going to put that over there and then you can close this box off nothing's going to display here until you say okay start recording all of the parameters and then bam there you go right now it's showing you that your transmission shift mode is in normal and then your this you're basically you're put in park right now and then watch as i move my shifter it tells me what mode it's in it's reversed there's neutral and then now here is my drive mode this is the mode where if I slide it over to the side, the next thing I would be is in the sport mode. But D6 is the number that I need. This is, I push it from here into sport mode. So D6 is a number I need to go back over to my editor. I need to put D6 in here. And then once I have all these parameters, I go back and I write this to the, the TCM. I write the whole thing. And then now when I go back over here and I have this thing in my drive mode, and I switch it over into the sport mode, realize nothing has happened here. You see it's still normal, but as soon as I tap one time, now it goes, you are in tap up, tap down, and then that's how you verify, yep, sure enough, I'm in tap up, tap down, I'm in sport mode, and it's gonna work. Now you can go do your drive test and check out how well this thing works. is so freaking funny. It's changed everything. Totally. It's so nice to have control of that when you want power, you got it. Yeah. All right, that was a long one, a whole bunch of information there. And I hope that you're able to get sports shifting working on your own vehicle and maybe share this around with other people in the community because there's some, uh, I think some good information there. A lot of great content coming out here in the very short term. We leave next week to go down for the Baja 1000. We'll be racing 1,227 miles from Ensenada, Mexico, through the mountains, silt through the deserts, all the way down to La Paz. You won't want to miss it. We'll be live streaming. There'll be live updates. If you go to www.ntdracing.com, there will be a link on how you can follow either all the racers or how you can follow our team and our chase trucks. You'll want to check it out. Again, a lot of exciting stuff coming out then. And then next year, right as soon as we're done with the race, we're starting on the next build where we're going to be using the Langmuir Systems Crossfire XR and Bentec software as we build Honcho 2, our next desert race truck. I hope you will join us then. We'll see you in a couple of days. Take care of yourself.